All right, everybody, welcome back to another x Gaming video. x here, and yes, plenty of salt to be had. Salt from the mines, if you will, in regards to more Astrobot, uh, in regards to how successful that game is. And yes, in case you were wondering, there is plenty of salt in the back lines ready to come forward in future video after this one in regards to the PS5 Pro stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. Right, so like I was saying, what we're going to do is get right to the salt here. This is going to be in regards to Astrobot, Astrobot because in regards to the salt, folks, I don't want anybody getting a pass from this stuff, and I know there's a lot to get to, and yes, we're going to get to the PS5 Pro salt as well, and some other thoughts about that as well, but in a future video here. But for now, again, we're going to hold some folks accountable, and we're going to start off here. There is a response to Paris, by the way, as you can take a look here. Sorry, but praising Astrobot has nothing to do with Concord. Stop with these wild conspiracy theories. I swear the internet is rotting brains with nonsense. Go play games and enjoy instead of constantly looking for reasons to hate something. We all, and then of course we have <laughs> Octopus here. I was getting right to it because... It's craziness, right? They all have this delusion. So as he says, we all knew the media was going to pump up Wish Mario after the epic failure that is Concord. I sure it's a great platformer, but not as great as they say. Of course, nothing can ever be on the level of Mario, especially if it's coming from PlayStation first party studios, because wow, they sure haven't proven themselves with most of their first party, uh, you know, first party studios out there, right? They just don't make hits like Spider-Man and Horizon and God of War and Uncharted and Days Gone was phenomenal. A shame what happened there. All that stuff. Yes, there's going to be misses and stuff like that with Concord or Destruction uh, Team All-Stars or whatever in the heck it's called at this point because I'm just letting that go throughout my mind. But yes, this this has no warranty of, of how good a game can be, right? It just cannot be on the level of a Mario game from Nintendo. But no, it is the Metacritics and on top of the Metacritics because no, that doesn't always matter. But the audience, the gamers have spoken. This is one of the best platformers of all time as far as content, as far as charm, as far as accessibility, as far as an entire IP package is concerned for a platformer. This has pretty much all the bells and whistles. So you're going to have to deal with that, buddy. But let's keep going on here. <laughs> And so, oh, let's keep going, keep going. So, as Jeff Keeley states here, he states, so what do you guys think of Astrobot, right? Just a simple phrase, but of course we do have the catfish themselves. <laughs> now the catfish themselves stating in response to that, every masterpiece has its cheap copy and of course shows the Super Mario Odyssey Metacritic score at 97, deservedly so. I really and thoroughly enjoyed Mario Odyssey in my time with that game. And uh, But <laughs> what what is an Xbox catfish fanboy doing showing Mario here? So you have to do a dig here because you're upset because Microsoft can't do anything with their IPs. They assuredly, assuredly cannot create something for a new sequel or a new entry for the Banjo-Kazooie franchise or IP, right? They can't do anything in regards to anything they own, so we're going to bring up Mario from Nintendo because that's what they do. Much like they love to bring up Halo from 20 years ago and that Metacritic, but here we go. <laughs> this never ends, never ends, folks. Now, uh, the big fraud themselves, Gaming Profit NYC here, as we can see, Xbox Series X graphics versus PS5 graphics, and then showing Hellblade, a five-hour walking simulator versus a platformer that is having a graphical style on, all on its own. Um, but, wow, I don't think Hellblade 2 has, at this point in time, since it's not on PlayStation yet, keyword yet, doesn't have the dual sense capabilities that you would have on an Xbox controller as well as other um, bells and whistles that could come on the PS5 side of things, right? In regards to possibly what a PS5 Pro in regards to what it could do as well. Maybe get rid of that 30 frames per second along with that 4K 
fidelity there, right? Um, but on top of that, I mean, how asinine is that? One is a straight up, you know, aside from those differences, right? We have a straight up comparison of a, a basically, I'm going to say it is a walking simulator. This is the complete definition of a walking simulator experience in a way of what you're doing. Great story. I think the story is just fine for its short showcase. But you're, you're doing something in that regards to that type of genre in regards to a fun 3D platforming game. Last I checked, Senua is not jumping around on bouncy pads. Senua is not jumping around <laughs> on anything whatsoever. Some climbing, some crawling, some walking, stuff like that. But two different games. But that's, that's the W that they're clawing for. That's the hole that they're digging from, is trying to find some sort of relevancy here. But it is pretty pathetic, as we can see here. Fantastic right here. Now, this is a big one here from Reasons I'm Broke. This is, this is great. A little bit of a novel here, but stay with me. <clears throat> now, <laughs> let's get on my reading voice here. The Astrobot game on PlayStation 5 prioritizes, prioritizes style over substance, resulting in a lackluster experience. Despite Astro statuses as a PlayStation mascot, the game feels more like a nostalgia trip <clears throat> than a fresh adventure. The platforming levels are repetitive and lack the creativity that made Astro's playroom charming. Cameos from past PlayStation characters seem more like corporate nods than meaningful additions. Although the game features impressive graphics and makes good use of the DualSense controller, good use, the gameplay mechanics are shallow and overly reliant on familiar formulas. Ultimately, Astrobot falls short of innovation and fails to build on its predecessor's potential, making it a forgettable experience. Yeah, that's completely in the opposite direction there. I don't even know what they're pulling from here, but we'll start from bottom to top here real quick. But forgettable experience, I think this experience is going to last quite some time. There's going to be free DLC. Everybody can't stop talking about this game, even at the time of recording here. This is going to go down as a major, major hit, as well as a family fun and friendly game as a whole. This should probably, I would think, sell hotcakes around holiday times for your kids and for your family and anybody wants to jump in. The dual sense alone, if you have not experienced it in a game like this, much like Astro's Playroom, is just on a completely different level. I can't imagine playing on anything other than a dual sense, especially when games take full advantage of it, like, you know, Astrobot, of course. Um, but yeah, just the cameos being a corporate nod. I mean, yes, let's not celebrate the past and generational IPs that have come across every generation of PlayStation. I think that's been fantastic. Why would you not make some sort of tribute in a way and, you know, some sort of an icon-like series? I mean, this has legs. It's going to go on for miles and miles. This is not the last that we're going to see of Astrobot with how well-received it's been across. It's a media darling. You name it, but this is all just a pure paragraph or essay of pure copium. Craziness, but you know what? He's not done here. So Reasons I'm Broke again continues. So now they got to relate to something else. This is the delusion and what they're trying to do. Now, folks, social media, and especially X, formerly known as Twitter, is not a real place. <laughs> so if you ever do go through the dump site that it is, just know, as loud as the people are, this is not real life. Real life is what you see and what you make of it with actual data and statistics. But let's continue here. Sony stock took a hit as investors reacted to disappointing sales of Astrobot, a game that generated some excitement before its release. Reports indicate that the game has sold fewer than 75,000 units and is currently out of the top 10 spot on the US PlayStation Store, falling short of expectations for such an anticipated title. Uh, first of all, it did not drop out of that, by the way, and uh, especially at the time that this was posted. <laughs> and on top of that, the stocks dropping had nothing to do with PlayStation whatsoever. So just keep those two things in mind first. Investor projections had estimated sales of at least 500,000 units. I don't know where you pulled that from, including pre-orders. So this performance is well below anticipated. Again, at the time that this was posted by him, we don't know what it really sold, especially in regards to digital, right? Um, the lackluster reception has raised doubts about the game's future impact and Sony's ability to regain momentum in competitive gaming markets. So uh, completely all false here so more delusion more loud mouths this is what i'm talking about when you go across social media and you're getting it from certain other channels or you're getting it from southern other people right um you know i do pride this channel and myself into being 
factual and honest with y'all. And some stuff, if it is opinion-based, I will mention that it's opinion-based. Uh, but this is absolutely insane. This is on the levels of GOAT gaming insane. So I don't know where this guy kind of came from. This is the first time I featured him on this channel. Um, but I thought we should take a look because they just have to downplay everything, right? Just everything Sony. Nothing's even going on with Xbox. This, nothing's even going on. We're featuring Xbox and Xbox fanboys on this channel because of the delusion. But there's nothing going on with them right now. Absolutely nothing. So they just don't like to see any success stories here. And that's what we're seeing right here. So, you know what? Speaking of GOAT Gaming, I felt like we should feature again. As we can see... <laughs> Breaking Sony stock crashes as word of Astrobot not selling well gets to investors. See the similarities here? Astrobot, according to We Are Circana, and he tags everybody, right? That's, I don't know how he doesn't get community more noted more. I do know, but I also don't understand how it's not sticking. Has not sold 75K units and sits at number 14 on the US PlayStation Store. Uh, e Trade said, <laughs> E Trade. <laughs> <laughs> E-Trade. Oh my gosh. Investors were expecting at least 500k units with pre-orders today. So a lot of similar numbers and probably, uh, you know, the previous gentleman, the reasons I'm broke, probably borrowed a lot of this and expanded upon it from Goat Gaming's, you know, nonsense posts that are not ones ever factual. Um, so if you ever do, again, run across these folks, it's not true. Uh, it's, it's incredibly insane to me that they continue to put on these these shows in delusion like it's going to change thousands and thousands of consumers minds being like this is true this they're heading down a path that we don't want to see i mean it's insanity right um <laughs> but that's why i'm here in case you don't know you know now this is craziness at the nth degree here but folks we're not quite done here we do have a couple video examples let me show the first one. We have a gentleman here trying to downplay the importance of Astrobot. That it's not a big deal. That the the mascot, so to speak, Astrobot himself, is not a big deal, and it just wouldn't really sell that well outside of Sony, apparently. So you know what? Take a look here. That they think that this is somehow some great shit. It's not. That are probably yeah. just as good, if not better, if not better. Then Astrobot, but because it doesn't have a big name brand attached to it, no one looks at it or no one cares. That is Astrobot if you put them anywhere other than Xbox. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, anywhere other than PlayStation. <laughs> you put them anywhere else. He is the most irrelevant I mean, little fucking robot ever known to mankind. Yeah. I think the point is, is that like engagement will exist if the game is good. And right now, Redfall was put up to a current level that it is good. It's good. I fucking had I had a blast playing it when it was 30 FPS on the console. All right. So, as you can see, pure delusion once again. That's the keyword of the day. Um it should be the keyword of every salty batch file here, but you know what? It just kind of speaks for itself. I mean, they just think that it's Sony that does everything. And A, Sony's the big bad. It's only because of Sony this. If it was, take a step back. If it was only because of Sony, that's pretty incredible. But it's not. But that would be pretty incredible that they have the power, the ingenuity to sit there and bolster something is, is let's say it wasn't so you know s class tiered so to speak as in regards to astrobot himself being that that mascot ip right that franchise but it's just it's insanity it really is so to sit there and downplay what's been created the blood sweat and tears from the devs the critical acclaim that it's received is it's just on another level right it's on it's on another planet over on starfield somewhere where it's all barren and there's nothing there that's where it's landing at right so Sit with that as you will. They have to make peace somehow, some way. But we just have one more example here, and we have the typical Xbox podcast fan circle here with one of the gentlemen uh, trying to downplay Astrobot in regards to saying that Super Mario Wonder is just a much better game than Astrobot, and some folks don't agree with that, and they have a little bit of a clash. So you know what? Enjoy. When it comes to creativity, it's every bit 
as creative as a Mario yeah. game. I, I'd Every have to disagree bit. on that. Like oh, they, yeah. they, 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 there's some stuff that Xbox I saw on like on Galaxy brother. and stuff. I, sorry. What do you mean Xbox? I, 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 you got, Just you got because I disagree on. with you, you got to say some stuff like that. Attic, attic, no, no, no. I, we're going to talk about creative. that, Bonds. It's, it's Just, very no, creative. Just because I, I said I Mario has more in-depth mechanics, you have to say some stuff like that. Because it doesn't. It, it factually doesn't. They All have, right, they both have equally the amount of creative uh, mechanics and stuff within the games. The, Did the you play Wonder in this game? Yes, I played Wonder. I played Wonder with my kids. I played it. I know exactly what you do in Wonder. And yes, it had some creative mechanics. Great game. But so is this. That's all I'm saying. Like anybody who's saying, oh, it doesn't get even near that game, which is what you said, I will disagree with. Okay, well, disagree with my argument. Disagree with my opinion. See if I give a shit. <laughs> language. Whoa, language. 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 Wow. It's okay to disagree. It's just y'all yeah, don't agree. Have, on, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't, y'all don't agree on the game. I love That's where you addict. I'm not, I'm not hating on you. I'm just yeah. telling you. Like, it, no, I'm it just does. tired of every time I have an opinion, someone wants to detract it. because no, I, 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 All right, so a little bit of discourse in that little circle. The, the guy, uh, man, I, I don't know what to say. Now, again... This is all subjective, so to speak. Anybody can like any game they want, enjoy what they want, how they want, all that stuff. But when it comes down to it, if the majority and the consensus is Astrobot is a better game than Super Mario Wonder, and most people agree with that, that's their opinions. But the majority saying that, that, that usually holds some truth to it. Now again, maybe you out there watching this feel that Super Mario Wonder is actually a better game than Astrobot. And you know what? That's totally fine. But case being, I do love a little bit of discord within that Xbox community and little circle. Um, I think it's great because they just kind of lash out at each other. The power of PlayStation first party IPs when it hits that home run, they, they just, they don't know what to do with one another. And they have that pent up aggression and they just can't stop themselves from just making a fool of themselves basically, right? And there you have it. And for our entertainment, that's what they'd provide. <laughs> so that being said, plenty of Astrobot salt to go around. And like I said, stay tuned for the next Salty Batch video because we will be diving in heavily on the PS5 Pro and what's been going on with that. So without further ado, just remember everybody, don't be a Salty Batch. And we'll see you all next time on the next Xbox Gaming video. And until then, take care.